You think I'm a cop chaser? No way. No way. Yeah, yeah, you're a cop chaser. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cop chaser? CJ's posing all. Wait, no, you're not playing with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cop chaser. Even CJ knows that his father has been clickbaiting, okay? Using his mother to clickbait. All right, y'all, so before we get into this lit video, y'all, I wanna shout out to my sponsor, Car Marshall. If you're looking for a new or a used car, click on the link below in my description and my pinned comment section, okay? CarMarshall.com will help you find and negotiate buying a new vehicle. So make sure y'all go to the link in my description and also my pinned comment and go check out CarMarshall.com. Huh. Let's go ahead and get right into this spicy ass video. Let's get it. What is good, Diamond Dynasty, baby? Welcome back to another mother freaking video. There's a lot of girls with me right now. Got a lot of drugs with me right now. But I'd rather just be right. like Let's not go too soon now. <laughs> Feel the same. And a lot of girls say that my name I would rather pass that one to you My way is to And today, baby Y'all already know what's going on in this video, man. So today, you guys wanted me to react to Christopher Sales, okay, in the situation with Queen Nigel explaining to CJ, all right? So we're gonna do that. If you have not already, right underneath this video, man, you can cop my Diamond Life, Diamond Dynasty, baby. Merch, man, everybody who has already copped, thank you guys so much, and everybody who is about to go cop that drip today, baby. Thank you guys as well, and everybody who has already subscribed to my spiritual channel, thank you guys too. The link is in the description down below as well. And also at the end of this video, if you want to wait until then to subscribe, all right? And if you have not already, make sure you join it, I Steve baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below, share this video with a friend, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend to that ain't your mom, today, Uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. Let's get right into this motherfucking video. Let's get it, y'all. So you guys wanted me to react to this video, okay? Christopher Sales is sitting baby CJ down, okay? And finally telling CJ that mommy and daddy are not gonna be together anymore, all right? Now, me personally, you know what? I'm not gonna get too much into my opinion yet. Let's go ahead and start the video. I'll break it down to my son. The truth about... You know, me and his, his mother. Hold on one second. Because a lot of the time, I feel like, I personally feel like, um, he just needs some understanding and I need, I think he needs to be told the truth finally. And not even the truth because it's not like he's been lied to. But simultaneously, I just felt like he really don't fully understand the situation that he and his mom, me and his mom has been going through. I feel like that's fine for you to do, but that's very, that's something very personal, okay? CJ is going to get older and he's gonna look at all of this. And, you know, I remember Miss Reva talking about how fans would come up sometimes and CJ didn't even wanna be on camera, you know, didn't wanna get his picture taken or any of that. So, uh, you know, I don't know, man. I feel like it's, it's hard when it comes to, these YouTubers and what they feel like they should keep private and what they should share with the world. I don't think a conversation like this should be in front of hundreds of thousands of people to watch. I really don't. That's just my personal opinion. But, you know, everybody sees things differently. And, you know, obviously it's already out there. But anyway, let's continue. For the past couple of years, and he probably couldn't be me. That's so why I'm gonna say. he has to come back and forth between here in mommy house and, and i'm pretty sure he already has an idea that you got mommy and daddy are not together okay i'm pretty sure he has a good idea of that because even though even if you haven't sat your kid down to tell him that they kind of get that energy and they kind of see okay why am i going from why is daddy dropping me off here why is mommy dropping me off here why am i not able to have mommy and daddy in the same household for a long period of time, you know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure that it has already affected him and he already kind of gets that concept. But anyway, let's continue. My daddy had a girlfriend, my mommy got a boyfriend and this and that. So today is the day that I bring it down to my five-year-old. He's older now and maturing like a big boy. Um, 
So yeah, so we're just gonna break the ice. And I'ma let him know. Okay, so you know, you know, you know mommy and daddy not together. You know that, right? Yeah. You know that? Who told you that? Daddy. I told you that? Yeah. Oh, we'll pop that one, Bucko. Mm. Okay, you know? Yeah. Listen, listen to me. Listen. Stop. I am. But you are turning around and doing this, that, and the third. I still listen to you. Who are you getting smart with? <laughs> He ain't trying to Come have on. this conversation right now. Okay. He said it's bad yes. time to chillin'. Okay, so, you know, that's why you go back and forth between mommy and daddy. You know that's why you go back and forth between mommy, mommy and daddy because we split up. We're no longer together. And you and you go back and forth between, I know sometimes it get hard and sometimes you cry about it. Look, look, sometimes you cry about it, but some, sometimes life have a weird way of showing people things, you know. I told, I seen this quote the other day. It says, "Never, ever, ever be afraid to start over. You may like your new story better." That is true. I'm gonna say this: everything that I have lost has been replaced with something greater. Everything I have lost has been replaced with something better. Every single loss turned into a W, man. Okay, so that shows you that sometimes when you lose things, it's the best thing that could have ever happened to you. I'm talking job-wise, career-wise, I'm talking relationship-wise. Sometimes you have to get rid of the old to step into the new. You cannot be the same person that you have been to get the things that you desire. You have to become someone new. You have to program yourself for a higher level of thinking for you to even adopt these new ideas, new principles, new ways of thinking to catapult you to the next level, to get you to the next level, okay? Anyway, let's continue. So, with that being said, sometimes you gotta start over. Sometimes you gotta start over. My back hurt. Your back hurt? No, my head hurt when I do that. <laughs> you're making them think too hard, okay? You don't know what you're talking about right now, Chris. You don't know what you're talking about, okay? You, you like one more thing. Okay. I know this has nothing to do with the video But I have always wanted to wear hoop earrings y'all I have really always had a desire to actually have me a pair of hoop earrings. Okay But I don't have the ears For hoop earrings y'all Okay, if I put some hoop earrings on like Chris has on right now, I'm gonna look like Sally Sue Okay, my ears aren't the Attached ears the attached ears. I feel like are the only ears that look right with those type of earrings Okay, I'm not talking about the motherfucking new new big ass earrings. Okay, obviously I don't wear those or maybe it's not obvious I don't know, but I don't wear those. Okay, but <laughs> I've always wanted to wear some fly ass fucking hoop earrings man, and I can't do it I can't do it because I have this stupid ass detached fucking earlobe, bro. And it pisses me off, but anyway, let's continue. <laughs> you like mommy? You, do, do you like us not together? No, I like you and mommy together. Of course. I That's know, his parents. Why, why is that? Because I like daddy. Because you love daddy? Yeah. You understand why we're not together? No, I don't understand. Aww. You don't understand why we're not together? No. This is really not a conversation for the camera. Because, Daddy, no, honestly, really not. it's much more to what people think. Listen, baby. It always it's is. It's much is, more right? to what people think. It people think is. that I'm just this cruel guy and I'm, I'm, I'm this mean guy. You think I'm a mean guy? No. Really? No. <laughs> you think I'm a cop chaser? No way. No yeah, yeah, you're a cop chaser. <laughs> I'm a cop chaser? CJ's posing all. Wait, no, you're not. Wait, what the? <laughs> Even CJ knows that his father has been clickbaiting, okay? Using his mother to clickbait. 
to bring in more revenue. Shout out to baby CJ for the exposure. Yeah, he's trying to figure out what the car chasing is. But, um, okay, but no, seriously. So, people think I'm this bad guy on social media. And people think I'm still not over your mom. But I'm gonna tell you this before anybody tells you. And when you get older and see things on social media, I will always have love for your mother. And you know I, I'm in love with you. I love you so much. You my world, my heartbeat. God couldn't have made you no more perfect. Your heartbeat right now? I know you my heartbeat. <laughs> I hope so, CJ. <laughs> but little do everybody know. I really hope so. <laughs> I want to see your mother happy. No, ever. I'm a baby. I want to see your mother happy. I want to see her smile. And I have nothing but love for her. Okay, don't ever let people think that I don't love your mother or I don't, I don't, I hate her, I don't like her. None of that is true. And that's coming from, from the bottom of my heart. Like I have nothing against her. I really want to see her happy. I love you so much. And you know I love you. You know, you know I love you? I hear something in my ear. Do you know I love you? Yeah. That's not here. That's in my ear. CJ is not bothered right now, okay? He is focused on bad yeah, times. So I'm not. It's just, I, I, do, I do things for attention. I can do things for attention sometimes. Oh, we know. The name, a title, something just for attention and just, you know, just to give people attention because I'm about to drop something here and there. But you know what? I'm going to be done with that. So he basically. Exposed himself, all right. He says he stirs up drama, he creates attention because he knows he's gonna drop some. He knows he's gonna drop some music, or he needs more revenue to come in for the month. Okay, so he's basically exposing himself. So shout out to Chris for even putting himself out there like that. I'm pretty sure we all knew that, but you know, at least he's coming out and saying it. Cause I don't want you to keep saying that and people to keep assuming this and that. Which I think people know I'm still not on. Chris got the Matumbo on his head though. Like people know that. It just it's just funny. It's just funny to say social media. People just I like to too. say things like that. <laughs> oh, he still ain't over his ex. People know I'm over my ex. Like if you really think I'm not over any of my exes, you're delusional. If you really think that. Well, this is the thing, man. Nobody really knows except, like I say all the time, nobody really knows. The real tea, the real truth, no matter how much you think you know, there's so much more that you do not know about that happens off a of camera that you will never know about, that will never be discussed, that hasn't ever came to any social media platform. So there would be no way for you to know about it, okay? Possibly you do still care, have feelings, for Queen and maybe even want to get back with Queen. But only you know that. So really, everybody is going to continue making assumptions. They might even say that you still aren't getting over her even though you might be already over her. Okay, people are always gonna have something to say. But like I always say, man, if people are talking about you, it's a good thing, whether it's good or bad because that means that the attention is on you. It brings you dollars, it brings you revenue, which is the reason why he doesn't care whether or not people think he's over Queen or not. He doesn't care how many times people say that he need to stop clickbaiting Queen or stop talking about Queen in his songs or stop talking about her in his videos. He could care less. Why? Because he knows the more people that are paying attention are paying him. So the best thing that you could do if you don't support him is don't pay him any mind. Don't pay him any attention because he's getting paid off of you. And that's just facts. Let me know in the comment section down below if you agree or disagree, okay? Let's continue and we'll close it out. Yeah, it, it's, just, it's just, I know the truth. You know, I can't expect nobody else to know the truth or anything like exactly. that. Exactly. I know the truth, so that's really all that matters to exactly. be honest. Yeah, you know, my family and all shit truth and stuff like, you know, stuff like that. That's all that shit, I really shit only matter. do that to get y'all attention. Like, we I, know. Like, I really do things like that to get y'all attention and, we know. and to bring more traffic towards my way. But I know. We know what you're doing. It got to stop somewhere. It's going to stop somewhere. You know, and I don't even really want to keep doing it no more. Does it really got to stop? Is it really going to stop? Like, 
Follow us on Los Angeles. Y'all just don't want to watch it unless I put my ex name in it or this or that. It is kind of so true. Just like, I ain't gonna hold you. It is well, that's true. why you really do it. But it's like it's just a time out for all that. To be honest, like a time out. I want to just move on. Like literally move on. As far as social media, I've been moved on mentally. All that I've been moved on, but social media again. <laughs> okay. So once again, Chris does a weird thing. He just cuts totally to a different part of the freaking video. And so this is what I'm thinking. Possibly his camera died. And you know, when he charged it back up, he forgot what the fuck he was saying, didn't want to continue it, and just started recording some basketball footage, okay? Which we are not going to watch because that's not what this video is about. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below, was it a little much to have this conversation with CJ in front of the world? Let me know, man. I feel like some people take it a little too far when it comes to social media, what to share, what not to share, what should be private, what shouldn't be private. And all CJ was wanting to do was clean his privates, okay? So with that being said, man, I feel like it was definitely too much for a video. It was too much for the world to see. That's something that is very, very, very sensitive and very, very personal, okay? I can't imagine having a conversation like that with my pops, you know, which I did a long time ago. He had that conversation with me multiple times a long time ago before I could even register or understand it. I can't imagine being the age that I am now, looking back on that, having a conversation that was supposed to be between me and him, you know? So I don't know, we do live in a different age and time, so possibly kids will grow up and understand that. But, you know, I live in a generation to where that, none of that was happening. All of that stuff was kept, you know, close. And it was a private information because it was a private, you know, matter. It's a private matter. So I understand he's trying to get his views. I understand that, you know, it's hard to get the views if he's not putting his ex in his titles, like he said. But at the end of the day, man, you don't want your son to, you know, be in a uncomfortable situation just because you're trying to secure the bag, you know? So y'all let me know in the comment section down below, what is your opinion on this whole thing, man? I love you guys so much. Like I said, it's a double upload day today. I don't know if it's gonna be the first or second upload of today, but I wanna, I wanna say that I appreciate all of you beautiful people who are taking the time to watch this video. Y'all could be watching the sky right now and y'all are deciding to watch me right here in this moment. And, you know, just the love and support that I have received throughout, you know, my time on YouTube has been wonderful. Um, super grateful for each and every one of you guys. I know that, you know, sometimes we don't agree on everything, which is great. You know, we're all people. We are all entitled to our own opinions. I am super elated to be in the position that I am. And I know that I couldn't be in this position without each and every one of you. Without you watching this video, man, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing, you know? So yeah, man, I don't, I don't mean to get emotional. We're not gonna get on that tip today, but I just wanted to close the video out saying that. It is Wednesday, like I said, man, we're going to finish out this week. It's a beautiful week, man. Not to mention, I'm getting my keys for my new apartment, man, this Sunday, okay? And I'm super excited about that. I'm not moving, moving all my stuff until the 14th, which is the weekend after that. But I am super excited. And yeah, it's just new beginnings and a fresh start. And I don't know, man. I just feel like great things are ahead. I want you to know that great things are ahead for you too. And, you know, like I say all the time, man, whatever you desire, whatever you envision, whatever you feel in your heart, whatever you give thanks for before you receive it, you will be able to attract into your experience. I love you guys so much, man. Let's go ahead and have a wonderful rest of this week, man. Let's get to the weekend and let's enjoy even more, man. Every day gets greater. With all of that being said, man, if you have not already, make sure you join the Dynasty, baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below, share this video with a friend, hit that bell, so you can be notified every time I post another little ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend and tell a friend until they ain't your mama, until they Uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. Peace. Here we are.